Hello there everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. My apology for sounding like a broken record, but I really want to thank all of you for your support and encouragement as well as taking the time to watch the videos I've made. I sincerely hope that these videos will be helpful to you in your own spiritual warfare. Father Pat Collins is an Irish Catholic priest of the Vincentian Order and also an exorcist. So in this video, I'll be sharing something that I think you'll find quite interesting. If you are interested to listen to the full live stream, I've provided the link in the description box below, so feel free to watch the full length live stream if you like. According to Father Pat Collins, he believes Hitler and his henchmen were actually demonized and that they were trying to stop the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's a pretty big statement, don't you think so? And may I say in passing, that I do believe that the Nazis were, that their whole enterprise was diabolical. Hmm. And uh, Roy Schumann, who's been a convert from Judaism to the Catholic Church, he says that they were all into the occult and into very sinful activities. Yeah. And that, isn't it significant that they wanted to wipe out who? The chosen people. Because it says in Romans chapter 10, that before the end and before Christ returns, the Jews will be converted. And it's almost as if they're saying, if we get rid of all the Jews, there will be no Jews to be converted. So Christ can't come again. Oh, okay. That it was yeah. an assault on, on, on the chosen people. And um, so I, I, I do believe that Hitler and his henchmen were actually demonized. And Father Pat Collins also shared his experience going into the gas chamber at the Dachau concentration camp. And if you just close your eyes and listen to what Father Collins is saying, the images of the torture is so horrible that will get you thinking, how could someone be so evil to do this to so many people, even during times of war? But when you went down to the bottom of the camp, crossed a little river, you came to where the gas chambers were and also the crematorium. And I remember standing in one of the gas chambers and uh, there was a kind of a, a hole in the roof um, and that's uh, where people thought they could get air when the gas was coming in. So apparently they would climb on top of one another's bodies mm -hmm. and there would always be a pyramid of bodies inside. Now, it was just horrific remembering the terrible crime that be, had been committed there. And then going out and seeing the crematorium, the especially small ones for children, which was so poignant and awful. Mm -hmm. And I just had a manifestation when I was in the camp, not intellectually, but just a sense in my whole being of evil. It was as if a, a veil had been drawn back and I saw evil for what it really was. Mm. Absolutely horrifying. Well, this is it for this time. I do upload daily, and I try to cover as many as I can on the subject of spiritual warfare. As I am a Catholic, I do tend to make a lot of videos that cover more about Catholic exorcists, but I will try to include more from the lens of the Orthodox Church as well as Protestants. Remember that the devil is trying to divide us, and if we're so hung up in the notion of, hey, I'm a Catholic and I shouldn't be listening to the evangelicals, the Orthodox, we're really doing what the devil wants us to do. My humble suggestion is for those non-Catholics who are watching my videos, please keep an open mind, and if it's possible, just leave your questions in the comments below, and I'm sure there will be someone who will be more than happy to answer your questions. Until then, thanks so much everybody and God bless you.